Hey everybody, it's Bill from AntTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Just a reminder to everybody that we still have a few mask computers to give away and there's some more coming as well. I had a question about how do you win one of these? Well, you have to be subscribed to the channel and like and comment the videos and that's pretty much it. Uh, no purchase necessary, you void where prohibited. There's a saying that you might also remember from back in the day when those things actually occurred. If you remember when you were younger, you would see advertisements for free toy, send in your PC code. And now, technically it's not free. You have to pay the postage and uh, you have to buy the toys to get the UPC codes. So it's kind of a little bit of a gimmick on that front, but you didn't care. It was free for you. Uh, most of them were free for you actually, but you saw a free toy and you're like, mom, dad, look, it's free. I have to have this. And the one I remember fondly is Clark Kent from the Superpowers line. Uh, Clark was a mail away figure that you got. And it was pretty cool to have Superman's secret identity as a, you know, a toy. Because you can imagine him changing and then, you know, being Superman. And Mask had its fair share. There were actually a couple of these. The ones I remember the most were the Collector. That was one. I don't have the box for the giveaway, but I'll post it on the screen. You had Rescue Mission and Jungle Challenge also as free toy. And Mask had a rather unique giveaway as well that tied into the racing series. And it is a stopwatch. This one doesn't work at the moment. I assume the battery's dead, so I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look at it together and um, kind of get this thing going back in working order. Cause I, I really need to be able to tell, like I, I don't have anything that I can really use at the moment to like tell how fast I'm going or um, <laughs> tell what day it is of the week. I, I just don't have that. So it's good to be able to have this now. Um, it says mask on it. It's got the original band or string, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty long, actually. As this would be worn around your neck, so you can be official. You wear it, bring it up, be able to, you know, clock those clock those laps. Um, three buttons on it. You got start stop. Yeah, lap reset and mode. I don't know what the mode is, but once we get the battery going, we'll be able to figure that out. Um, the screws are incredibly tiny on the back. And there's no marking on it that I can see that says the manufacturer. It might be on the inside. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to open it up and we'll take a look at it. Got my trusty pocket knife here. I do have other tools working in IT, but I left them at the office and um, I don't go there much anymore because of COVID. So I uh, relying on this right now. All right. Screws look to be a little rusted. Um, I would expect it if it's from 1987, I would say. That would be the case. And you know what? It's probably just a generic stopwatch where they slapped the mask logo on it. Oh, man. So when you when you open it up, all the all these little things fall out of the top. Uh, hopefully I can get them back in correctly. But here's the inside. Huh. Oh, string felt. Didn't break. Did not break. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Nope. Here's right, look at that. It's being held on by like a strand. That's kind of weird. All right. Um, looking for markings. Oh, screw felt. Crap. And that's also one of the worst things if you've ever worked on a laptop and you lose a tiny screw that you really need. Yeah. No markings. My manufacturer so I have no idea how this was produced or who produced it 
unless it's under this board here. So this is right underneath the face. And I cannot read that battery at all. What does this say? Silver, silver cell six. It's really small. Like it, I wish I can kind of describe. Um, here, I'll hold up, I'll hold up Hondo here, just to show you the size of the stopwatch. I mean, you can kind of imagine it as I'm holding it, but the size of this, it, it's, I mean, there's not much of the mechanism. You can see the, the connectors up there where if you push down on one of the buttons, it'll talk to the board. I just don't know how, if I can't read the battery, how am I gonna replace the battery? Well, as I deal with this, there's a commercial for it uh, from a old mask website, and I wish it was still around, all about mask. It's on YouTube and we can kind of see this in action. There's a little bit of hissing on it. Um, I did try to work on that, but I wasn't able to really get it out of there. So we're gonna watch it its entirety on the YouTube channel. And um, hopefully when I get back, I'll have a little bit better answer on this. can too. Free. A mask racing stopwatch free when you send two proofs of purchase from any two mask toys. Get details where you buy masks. It's the Time Racer sweepstakes. I gotta get the time. Wait, there's more. Send for the stopwatch and you'll be entered to win a trip to the Indianapolis 500. And ride an official pace car. You can also enter by sending your name and address here by March. No purchase necessary. The mask Time Racer sweepstakes. So you saw the commercial. It's pretty cool, right? Um, I have a picture that I'm going to post in a second. I don't remember where it came from, but it kind of shows the the slip that you would have to fill out. And um, luckily, my local CVS is open late for weirdos who go in to buy a single battery. I didn't feel bad about it at all. I, I mean, who doesn't go in the CVS at 10:30 at night to buy this tiny battery? Let's put it in. Hopefully it works. All right, it fits, that's a plus. And I'm sliding over the connector. Do both of the connectors need to be on there? So the battery's in place, but I'm not getting any power. That's disappointing. Let me try changing it around here. See if I need to slide it in a different direction. All right, so I assume that I need to get both those connectors on the battery I would assume that hitting these buttons here would turn it on. Hmm. But alas, I don't think it's gonna work. I wanna try one more thing. <laughs> Try positioning the clasp in a different way, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, I got nothing unless this back part plays a key role on it somehow. Well, let's put it back together and see what happens. Maybe by some sort of miracle, it'll. It'll power on itself. Give me, give me a second here, and I will get this going. I'll give it a shot. All right, got it all back together, and we got nothing. 
Am I disappointed? Sure. I did go out and buy a battery, looking like a weirdo. Um, but I was really hoping it would work. Uh, the seller didn't make the claim that it did. They just said they didn't know. So, it is what it is on that front. But if you know the manufacturer of this type of stopwatch, let me know, because maybe I can find a working board that I can put into this to get it working again off of a generic one, so to speak. I'd really love to get it in working order. So if you have any insights, please let me know. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later. Just